Dear Jordan, my almost husband, the day has finally arrived. Today is the day I have been dreaming of for as long as I can remember. The day I get to marry my best friend. The day I become your wife and become Mrs. Miller. I can't believe it's true sometimes. Oh, I can't believe it's true. Matt, I knew I loved you from the first time I laid eyes on you. You quickly learned that I am not one for words, especially those that deal with my feelings. Today is the first day of our forever, and I could not be more thrilled to call you my wife for the first time in just a few hours. Ever since I was a little girl, I have prayed for you. I have prayed that God would bring me a strong, kind, caring, godly man that would make me feel like the only girl in the world. I prayed that he would bring me someone with a great sense of humor that could make me laugh even in my grumpiest moods. I prayed that he would pair me with someone that took the time to enjoy the little things in life and was able to find joy in the mundane. You are everything I prayed for and more than I could have ever dreamt up. You are my soulmate, my one true love, my forever. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. I get to love you. It's a promise I'm making to you. I promise to be yours forever and always. You have my whole heart, and you always will. I can't wait to say I do. I love you so much. Your almost wife, Natalie. P.S. I can't wait to see you. Jordan, I promise to choose you every day, no matter what life throws our way. I promise to love you more than yesterday, but less than tomorrow, because my love for you will never stop growing. I promise to be your best friend and your biggest supporter. Jordan and Natalie, having made these vows before man, but more importantly before God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May those who God has joined together let no one separate. Jordan, you may now kiss your bride. when we were both resident assistants in college. And I remember becoming friends almost immediately. We were practically joined at the hip. It was like we were never even strangers. It wasn't hard getting these two together. Their attraction to each other was undeniable. 
And as a hopeless romantic myself, I knew after their first date that Jordan was the one for Natalie, and I think she knew too. Like when I close my eyes and don't first met Jordan, I immediately thought, did this Boy Scout get lost on the way to camp? Jordan and I both enjoyed the bachelor life and thought we belonged in the Playboy Mansion. Imagine our surprise when I met my wife and Jordan thankfully met Natalie. That has brought us to this beautiful ceremony today. We all gathered to watch a man and a woman become one. The merging of two families connected by love. And according to Google, I should be offering you guys some advice right now, but I don't know what to call it for that. To vow to fiercely love each other in all of your forms now and forever, and to promise to never forget that your love is a once in a lifetime love. So with that being said, I'd like everyone to raise their glass, and I'd like to propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Here's to love, laughter, and a happily ever after. Brand new.